Hello and welcome to our third Wind Journal tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll cover some advanced features. Let's get started. Now the inspector allows you to modify various properties for journals and individual journal entries. Clicking on any of the journals and then clicking on the inspector button brings up the inspector window. The name field allows you to change the name of your journal. The Author field allows you to specify the author name. The Label field allows you to color code your journal. Click on the menu and then choose the color from the list. The Blog area allows you to configure the settings to publish your journal to either a blog or a website. Click on the Edit button. The Server Configuration window appears. First, specify the name of the blog site by using the pull-down menu. Next, enter the blog address in the blog URL field. Now, enter your username. Next, enter your password. Now, click the Load button. Verify your password by typing it again and then click on the OK button. Now click the Load button. The information will be retrieved from your blog site. When you're done, click the OK button. Now for more information on configuring your journal to be published to a website, consult your user's manual. Now the last three areas we'll talk about deal with how you want your journal pages to be displayed. To specify a template you've already created, select the template name from the pull-down menu. Next, if you want to have a graphic image for the background of the paper in your journal, click on the button next to the Paper Image field. Now, click the Change button. Select the image you want to use and then click the Open button. Now if you want to change the position of the image in the background, make the selection from the screen background position and then click the OK button. Now if you'd like to have a color background, select a color from the pull-down menu. When you're done, click out of the window. You can also configure settings for individual journal entries. First, select the entry and then from the View menu choose Inspector. The Inspector window appears. Now this time, the window is divided into two areas. We've already talked about the journal level, so let's take a look at the entry level. The Topic field allows you to change the name of the topic. The Date field allows you to change the name of the entry. Directly below that is a freeform note area. Now the Keywords section allows you to create keywords to search on. You can also add searchable keywords for the entry. To find out what keyword entries are available or to add and delete keywords, click on the Keyword button. A window appears. Clicking the checkbox next to the keyword adds the keyword. Now if you want to add additional keywords to the list, click the Add button, add the new keyword, and then click on the OK button. Now just like the Journals section, you can color code your journal entries. Just use the pull-down menu. You can also add a different colored background for your journal entry by selecting the color from the pull-down menu. Now the last area allows you to configure the publishing settings for your entry. To keep the same settings that you're using for your journal, select Inherit from the pull-down menu, otherwise select None, and then click the Edit button to add another server location. Now you can share your journal in several different ways. You can print it, you can let people read your journal on your computer, you can email your entries, or you can publish it to a blog such as WordPress or Blogger. Now printing journal entries is easy. Select the journal or the journal entry you'd like to print and then from the file menu choose Print. Click the Print button and then choose OK. You can also email journal entries. First you need to set up your email account. From the file menu choose Preferences. Next click on the Email tab. Now enter your email setup information and then click OK. To email an entry, from the Publish menu, choose Email. 
enter the email address you want to send it to, and then click the OK button. Now just like emailing, the first step in publishing a journal entry to a blog or a website is to enter the server configuration information. Now we've already gone over that via the inspector menu. However, if you haven't already done it via the inspector, you can also do it through the publish menu by choosing configure server. Now once you've successfully configured your settings, you can publish your entry. To publish a blog with your blog configured, from the Publish menu, choose Publish to Blog. To publish to a website, select Publish to Website. There are other functions that you can perform such as updating and downloading blogs from your website. For more information, consult your user guide. Now let's go through some of the preferences you might want to change to make your life easier as you're using WinJournal. We'll highlight just a few of the things you might want to consider. From the File menu, choose Preferences. Now among the things you can do in the general area is to specify a default blog and enter the configuration settings. The Editing tab allows you to activate the Autosave feature as well as other functionalities. The Warning tab allows you to activate various warning confirmation messages. The Panes tab allows you to configure the display of your WinJournal interface. The Security tab allows you to specify various security settings. The Advanced tab allows you to specify advanced elements. Now once you're done making changes to the Preferences area, click the OK button. If you want to keep any of your journals private, First, select the journal that you want to lock, and then from the Journals menu, choose Lock Journal. Next, enter a password, then verify the password by typing it again. Next, click the checkbox if you want to encrypt the journal, and then finally click the OK button. Make sure that you use a password that you'll remember. OK, so that's it for this tutorial. For more information, please consult our User's Guide. You can also access our knowledge base on our website or email us with any questions that you have. We're happy to help. For now, though, share some good thoughts today.